Well, Jennifer Rick, it appears JCPS will be using more snow days in August as they try and work out this bus debacle. Now, today, Superintendent Marty Polio addressed media for the first time since this all happened, and he talked about what went wrong and how they plan to move forward. In the aftermath of a district-wide bus crisis, Jefferson County Public Schools superintendent announced that school closures will continue next week. As officials work to fix major problems with transportation, Marty Polio says it is likely students will still be out on Monday and Tuesday. He expects parents to be officially notified by Saturday. When we come back, yes, there are still going to be challenges, there are going to be delays, we're working in the same system, but it's going to be much more efficient and our communication will be much better with families and schools. The disastrous first day of school included bus horror stories, students getting home late at night, younger students dropped off at wrong stops, and worried parents alerting police. On Friday, Polio attributed the problems to the implementation of the bus routes rather than the new system that generates them. The software says it is X amount of minutes from this stop to the next stop. But what's not built in is what happens if a parent's not at that stop and the bus driver has to wait 10 minutes or drive back to school at some point. Some of the district's solutions to the problems are long term, including working directly with bus drivers to adjust the routes. Polio confirms he was aware of those problems with the route system ahead of the first day. And I talked to John Stovall often about it and he, you know, he said he, he that he told me about it and he did that there were a lot of concerns. So, I mean, this is not something I don't have conversations with. Immediate action the district is taking is at the bus depots that Polio says contributes to students being late. It's used to transfer students to different buses for school, a perk of the new school choice option. We are a district who provides transportation to nearly every kid who requests it. We have never been a district who denies transportation to certain kids if they choose a school that's outside of their neighborhood or community. While discussing the plan to correct this crisis, Polio again expresses his remorse for disrupting student learning. I would like to say, you know, once again, if I could go back and do things, some different things about this, I definitely would two or three weeks ago. Now, whether the district's plans to correct the bus problems for students to resume classes next week will work, wait to be seen. But Dr. Polio did stress that they will not resort to NTI and rather save those days for actual snow days. Live from Van Hoos Education Center, I'm Alexis Matthews, WOKY News. Thank